In addition to showing you data, many grids are designed to allow you to select data to perform actions upon. So there's a couple of different ways you can select uh, items in a grid. First, you can simply just click on the row, and you'll notice as you select the row, it turns blue, which shows you that's the selected row. And also, you'll notice out here there's a little arrow. That's showing you what the current row is. So if you want to select more than one row, you can hold down the control key and select the rows that you want. Or you could simply uh, select the first row and then hold down the shift key to select a whole range of rows. And then finally, you can just use control A to select all of the rows in a grid. Now, the reason you might want to select rows with a control is that um, the actions you perform often will be performed based upon the order you selected them. So if you want to print packing lists in a particular order, or if you want to perform some action in a particular order, the order that you select them in the grid is important. One thing that I'd like to point out is that even though there are five rows selected here, there's really only one current row, and the current row is indicated by the arrow on the record selector. The current row is the row that will be will have its data displayed in the right-hand sidebar, and if you're ever performing an action that occurs on only one item at a time, that action will occur on the current row, not all of the selected rows. Another thing you can do with grids is to uh, perform sorts. So just like many other grids you've seen any, anywhere, um, you can sort a column simply by clicking on the column and you'll notice that a little arrow appears. This means that status is now sorted ascending. Click it again and it sorts descending and click it one more time and that turns all sorting off. So you can even do multiple sorts if you want, which means if I wanted to sort by folder within status, I could sort ascending by folder and then hold down the shift key and sort by status. And now you'll notice that both status and folder are ascending sorts. So if we look down here, you'll see that within the status previously listed, it's also sorted by folder. Another feature that's useful is grouping. So if you'll see this row here that says drag a column header here to group by that column, you can simply drag any column into this area and it will now group all of the records by that column. And you can collapse and expand the groups. So you'll see that there is a group of previous previously listed items, there's 42, there's five retired. And then you can even group within groups. So I could drag folder up here also. And now within, <clears throat> within my 42 previously listed items, I can see that there are eight cherry, five maple, uh, 12 olive ash, and so on. So it's a very powerful way to be able to sort and group and look at your data.